everyone, it's Lisa Joy Young and I am finally back with another face painting video for you guys. I feel like it's been forever since I've done one and I'm sorry about that, but um, things in my life have just kind of prevented me from doing them, but that's all cleared up now and I have a lot of ideas in store, so over the next couple weeks you should be seeing a lot from me, including another really awesome giveaway, so that's super exciting. Alright, the design I have for you today is going to be a really cute and um, pretty simple alien eye design that the boys will love. You guys are always asking for boy designs, so that's what I have for you today. Alright, so for the first step I have um, a square brush. This is the Prisma Brush Medium and it looks like a three-quarter flat and it has dark green and light green on it double loaded and I'm going to do the head of the alien and I'm going to have the head be um, kind of over the arch of my eyebrow. So I'm going to start at the middle of the head and at the highest point and go all the way up to the hairline. And I'm going to go down and then sweep that dark edge of the brush in and it's going to be kind of like an egg shape. So come up here and do the same thing. Okay, now I have my Prisma cake, and I can't say the color, so I will show it to you. There you go. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a light spray. And I have my Martha Stewart Pouncer sponge. And I only want to get the red, orange, and yellow. So I'm going to squeeze my sponge so I don't get that green on there. And load the whole surface of my sponge like this. So I'm going to go ahead and take my um, sponge and I'm going to take the red and put it on the bottom. And I'll just do a little planet right here. Now if you just do a little bit, um, it won't be that blended. But if you really um, swirl it around, it'll blend more and more. This is the Prisma Flash Cake. And I'm going to get this pink and yellow wet and my sponge wet. And um, this is just this little cheap thing you can get at the craft store. And I'm going to go ahead and load this up. And I'll do one more up here as well, remembering to keep the darker side down. Alright, now it's time to do the background. And I'm going to be using these two beautiful colors. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. And uh, this one is Brilliant Azure. And this one is Brilliant Blue Baby. Or Bebe. I'm not sure how you say it. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and load up my sponge. I'll put the light blue on one side and the dark blue on the other side. And I've noticed with Paradise, um, you need to use more water than with Diamond Effects and Wolf, so keep that in mind. And that is what your sponge should look like. Okay, now it's time to do the background. I'm going to start with the light blue and just fill in any empty spaces. Doing it this way kind of helps the objects to look illuminated and then um, it also keeps you from having to compete with your base colors so everything looks nice and vibrant and I'm gonna go in with my dark blue and just put different patches of blue and then to blend them obviously just flip the sponge and blend them together Now it's time to add the antenna. I have a Paradise AQ814 brush and it's like a number six round. And I'm gonna just do two little things here for the antennas. And then two balls. Okay, now I have another one of those craft store st stick things. And I'm going to put eyeballs, and I'm going to use this so that all the eyeballs are the same size, and um, it gives better color intensity as well. So I'm going to put one right in the middle to start off. So just kind of pounce it and twist it. And the same thing right here. Just pounce it on. Okay, now while those are drying, I'm going to stencil on some stars. I'm going to be using a tap stencil and if you just want like little tiny designs these are nice and they um, are easier to control I find and since they're smaller it's easier to keep them flush against the face um, but they are pretty tiny so they're good for smaller designs 
or uh, when you need to stencil on smaller things. So let's see here. I'm going to put it right here, put it right here, and I'm just going to use this same thing to stencil on some stars. So um, I put my stencil stencils on and I'm going to put some dots now too to just help add interest and also wherever I messed up on the stencil this is a good way to fix that. So I have a skinny brush and some black and I'm going to outline my planet and when I outline it I want to make sure to keep my outline thick on the bottom and thin on the top and that will help to create a natural shading effect and make it look more 3D. Now for the pupils, I have a Q-tip, and I'm just going to swirl it um, in my black paint. And this is just going to ensure that all of my pupils are the same size, and it's faster to do it this way. All right, you guys, so that is it. I hope that you liked it and that you could use it at an event soon. If you haven't done so already, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And check me out on Facebook. The link to that is below, along with all of the products I used in this video. So I hope you guys are having, having a happy and warm spring, and I will see you again soon, I promise. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.